And there we have it. Universe Classic Starscream in his robot mode. Now, I've actually already done this fucking review once, but for some reason my fucking camera decided that um, it was going to mangle the second half. So uh, here I am again, doing this for the second time. Yay! And I have to admit... It took me a while, unlike the jet mode, which I think is, is absolutely stunning, it took me a while to get used to the robot mode. I think it's the, the predominance of just stark white, which looks quite featureless on the camera, but believe me, there, there is a wealth of sculpted detail on that white, and it's a good thing there is, otherwise this figure would look rather bland. And also that red, that red is very, very, very bright. Uh, it's erring almost towards the orange, but... After a while, it's really started to grow on me. I think it's because it looks so much like the uh, the quintessential Starscream. It's the it's the iconic image of the guy. As perfect as you are going to get outside of the masterpiece editions, and unlike the masterpiece editions, highly playable. Uh, you can actually play with this guy. He's not terribly fragile, thankfully. You can throw him around and give him all sorts of abuse, and he will, by and large, be okay. It has all of the same design flaws as uh, Acid Storm and all of the other Seekers from this uh, from this line. Uh, most notably, this thing with the wings, whereby if you point the guns forward, they are too big. For the wings to accommodate, so the wings have to go back, which is a minor, minor niggle, really. As I said in Acid Storm, when it looks this good, don't care. And the fact that it's Starscream makes it even better. I want a fleet of these guys, all commanded by Starscream. Hasbro, please release more recolors. I, I, you won't hear many Transformers fans saying that, but release more recolors of this guy. I don't want to have to paint my own, all right? Because I will fuck it up. He also still has the very, very odd nipple landing gear thing going on there. That's very strange indeed. I really don't know what Hasbro are thinking sometimes with the, the Freudian placement of these active objects. If they're not cockpits in, or buttons in the groin, it's landing gear in the nipples. Well done, Hasbro. It's a damn good thing you don't produce more female Transformers. That's all I could say. God only knows what we'd find on them. Actually, I, I'm now I'm now flashing back to Transmetal 2 Black Arachnia and her removable bra and very obvious breasts. Anyway, anyway, Universe Classic Starscream, an essential buy for any Decepticon fans. And really, if you're a Transformers fan, you, you, you must have Starscream in one shape or form. And if you like Generation 1 Starscream, who doesn't? This is the one to get.